It is Throwback Thursday on KSAT News at 9. Every Thursday, we use that popular social media hashtag to take a look back at the people and the places that have shaped San Antonio. The University of the Incarnate Word celebrating 150 years this year. So we're taking a look at the beginnings of that university and how it all centers around a call for help. The foundation of the University of the Incarnate Word can be traced back to a single letter in 1869. That letter was sent from a bishop in San Antonio to the Catholic sisters in France. The letter asked for the sisters' help to care for victims of a cholera outbreak in the city. Without hesitation, three sisters made their way to San Antonio and established the city's first hospital, the Santa Rosa Clinic. They primarily cared for the poor and single mothers. While the women were in the hospital, the sisters took care of them. And in some instances, if the patient died, they kept on taking care of the kids and they started an orphanage. The sisters decided to teach the orphans subjects like writing and math. In 1881, they received a state charter to educate children. They opened a school at the George Brackenridge Estate, which became the college and the academy of the Incarnate Word. And that's the main administration building. It has grade school, high school, and, and college students. In 1913, a young woman from Durango, Mexico, named Antonia Mendoza, became Incarnate Word's first graduate. Since then, the university has awarded thousands of degrees in fields ranging from philosophy to business, always trying to keep the mission of service in mind. Today, um, all our students are required to perform service hours. Every year, the university honors its connections to the past with a celebration symbolizing the passing of the torch from one generation to the next. At Christmas time, we celebrate uh, you know, the nativity of the Lord. It's a, understandably a huge celebration here on campus that we call Light the Way. It all goes back to a plea for help, a trio of Catholic sisters willing to make a sacrifice to help the sick here in San Antonio. These three young women in the early 20s had to leave France and without knowing English and say, well, we'll learn it. Uh, without really knowing nursing, well, we'll learn it, we'll do it. 